So I'm with Sean Hume, systems engineer of Rockwell Collins, and we're gonna look today at their uh, ProLine Fusion uh, integrated avionics display. Sean, thanks so much. Nice to meet you, Lynn. Appreciate you uh, taking time out for us today. So I understand that uh, these products are prominent in the fixed wing world. Yes, sir. I also understand that you're trying to integrate this into the rotorcraft market, which is why you're here at Heli Expo. Absolutely. Um, and uh, we learned that um, it's been selected, this product has been selected for the AWS 609, so you're part way there. Part way there. <laughs> and um, yeah, it looks like a really unique uh, product, and you'd like to get this into other helicopters. So can you tell us a little bit about the product itself? Tell us about what we're looking at here. Absolutely. So as you said, this is the Rockwell Collins ProLine Fusion System. It is a uh, fully integrated avionics system featuring touch control. Uh, the idea behind the whole ProLine Fusion System is touch what you want to change. So the pilot is able to see a piece of data on the display and touch it and change, change the parameters that he needs to. Um, so some, some nice features about the displays are they're ruggedized for high vibration usage. So there's grips on the top and the sides of the panel to allow the, the pilot to grip and have that tactile input to the display. Okay, so like in a, for an example, a high vibra vibration environment, um, normally helicopters typically have soft keys along the edges of their displays and to touch a screen, sometimes it's shaking and it's difficult to touch. So in a high vibration environment, they can stabilize their hand, that way they can touch the area that they need to touch? Absolutely, that's exactly the idea. And not only do we have uh, the ability to have the pilot have a place to rest his hand, we also provide a backup option or an option that can work in conjunction. Down here we have the Rockwell Collins cursor control panel and multi-key panel. This allows the pilot to do whatever he, was, he or she was doing on the display. They can also do it down here on the, the key panel or on the cursor control panel. The cursor can be mounted on a panel like you see here. Maybe it could be mounted on a collective or a cyclic. Uh, depending on the, the, the integration of the system, we can reposition the cursor. So it's similar to a mouse, so you're just moving a cursor around? Precisely. And it's the same thing with the moving map. So here we have a multifunction display. We have two of them on this configuration. Now these, can, these displays can be configured in a number of different formats and, and configurations. We could have four across in a larger helicopter. We can have uh, three and maybe a medium. And then in a light configuration, we can have two displays. Here we have our nice full gambit of displays, one PFD for the pilot and the co-pilot, and then our MFDs down here. Now on, on our MFD here, we have a full screen moving map in this current configuration. On the lower half, we have our FMS currently displayed as well as our COM nav uh, widget and application. As well as performance parameters, engine performance parameters? Precisely. Rockwell Collins can uh, take the airframes and the power plant's input and turn all that data into easy to use and easy to view synoptics pages. So these multifunction displays, these MFDs and these PFDs, the data that is being put on each one is completely swappable. So for example, if, if you'd rather have a piece of data here, you can swap it or if there was a failure, you can move that data over and go into a composite type mode, is that the case? Precisely, and there's two, there's two rungs to that ladder there. We can either use uh, the reversion capabilities to revert from our outboard to our inboard if, in a case of an emergency or a failure of the display, but during an active everything's okay scenario, we can reconfigure the display, and we can do that right now by pressing a home key. Now you see our format selection screen. Currently we have full screen selected, the widgets and the applications that can be used on a full screen are displayed here in magenta. If we select a full quarter, now you see we have some different options. We can go to different applications that are special for a quarter, for a quarter screen. And just that symbol, we can configure the entire display. Okay. And looking here, I notice we have our flight, we, we can actually do overlays. So here it looks like we have some form of enhanced vision uh, in the background with terrain and then uh, the flight instrumentation over the top of that. Is that what I'm seeing? Absolutely. This is the Rockwell Collins Synthetic Vision System which is a part of the, the Hellisher package. Um, the Hellisher package includes as well a, a HTAWS, a specially made and specially configured uh, for hel helicopter environments. 
One nice key feature about the synthetic vision system is that it doesn't only include uh, obstructions in the form of buildings or tall uh, roller coasters and things like that, but it also includes for low level flight uh, electrical wires. So if the database is detailed enough, the Rockwellcon synthetic vision system will actually offer the pilot the view of the obstructed or the obstructing electrical wires or hanging lines. Uh, things like that. So for takeoffs and landings, they're aware of all that information as they're inbound or so they're terrain departing. awareness data pause is included in there. What about MVG compatibility? Is that a part of the system as well? Yes, sir. We have all the displays are ruggedized and night vision capable. Um, we have a, a number of, of, of wonderful features in terms of brightness control, um, tactical feedback for the display. So the hardware is very adjustable. Okay, so what aircraft are your targets? What, what are your target markets? What are you looking for? What size aircraft, the smallest up? Sure. What do you think? Rockwell Collins can do it all pretty much in this, in this respect. These displays are so configurable and so reliable that they can be applied to a number of different platforms. Uh, this configuration you see here is geared toward the medium helicopter. Uh, or medium to heavy. So like an AW-139, something along those lines? Absolutely. And some of the, the similar d technology in terms of the touchscreen function itself is has been selected and implemented on some Augusta Westland pa platforms today. Right. Okay. Well, great. It's interesting product, lots of information. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks.